What's going on Kryptonites and welcome back to the Kryptonite Mining Channel. If you enjoyed today's video, please don't forget to smash that subscribe button. Anyways, in today's video guys, I'm going to show you how to mine Nexa on HiveOS. And the reason is, is because today, earlier I checked on my 43060 Ti rig, it seems that Nexa is the most profitable coin to mine at my 10 cent per kilowatt power cost. I am currently making about a dollar a day after the power cost. Who said GPU mining was dead? There are several profitable coins out there. Like I said, in today's video, we're going to be showing you how to mine Nexa on HiveOS. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is create a Nexa wallet because you will need a wallet to mine your coins to. So, go ahead and open your internet browser. Now you're going to type trade.xbitron.com. Now, don't just type xbitron in the Google search because it does not list it there at the very top. It took me forever to find it, so it's better just to go straight to the site. Now, you will have to set up and create an account with them. Once you get in here and get that wallet set up, you're going to want to go down to Nexa and you will want to click on the receive button. And then this is the wallet address right here that you will need to put into the miner. So we're going to jump over here to another screen and we'll come back to this screen in a second and copy that down when we're ready for it. The next step we're going to do here is we are going to open Hive OS. If you're unfamiliar with Hive OS is, please refer to my how to install Hive OS video. Go ahead and sign into your account. So right here, I currently already have 43060 Ti's running on Nexa. I'm getting 296.3 mega hash. And real quick, just so everyone can check out the profitability on that, let's jump over here to whatsomine.com. And like I said before in previous videos, that the defaults they have here typically after you fill in what GPUs you have, but it's typically better than what the profitability they have listed down here. Once you get onto Hive OS and mess with the over clocks you can usually get a better setting than they have here which in return you have more profit than it's actually showing here so what I do is I come in and I customly change these to what my machines actually doing so it gives me a realistic profit so right now I'm getting 296.3 mega hash on Nexa so let's go ahead and type that in and my wattage I am using um, each GPU I have overclocked at 150 power limit. That seems to be the best. I've worked around and messed with these overclock settings to get the best Nexa setup. I'm also going to release a video here soon on ways you can play with what to mine and your overclock settings to get the most profitable, energy efficient overclock settings out of your GPUs. So let's just open up the calculator here real quick. We got 150 times four, so that's 600 plus. The motherboard on there uses about 70 watts, so that's 670 watts. I have a watt meter that I plugged this rig into so I could figure out exactly what my motherboard uses so I can get an exact, precise calculation on my profitability. So let's go ahead and put that in here and calculate. So look, earlier today I was almost making a dollar. Price is swinging back and forth pretty good on Nexa, but we're sitting at 90 cents. And there's some other coins here that are, you know, it's showing that they're profitable right now with the default settings on what to mine. But I bet if I messed with some of these other coins, I could probably get a better profitability in what they're showing. But, you know, there are several profitable GPU coins here. So GPU mining is alive and well. You know, this is not financial advice. Remember anything you see on any of my videos across my channel, nothing is financial advice. Make sure you always do your own research before you invest in any type of cryptocurrency and any type of mining equipment, anything like that. But Nexa is going to pump. There's a lot of talk. So now is the time to, to get in and get a lot of coins for very cheap if you're wanting to, you know, see if this thing 100Xs or whatever in the next bull market like everyone's talking about with Nexa. It's the next thing. So right now I currently have those 43060 Ti's already running on Nexa. And like I said, they're doing pretty well. I'm getting 90 cents uh, per day after power calls. The first thing we need to do is get into here and you're gonna to wanna to click wallets because we need to save your Nexa wallet. So I already have my Nexa wallet saved right here, but I'm gonna go ahead and do it again. So you're gonna go want to go to add wallet and then you need to select which coin, which in this case it's Nexa. So right here is where you're gonna paste that address off Xbitron. So we're gonna jump back over to Xbitron and we're gonna copy that address here. 
and it copied it. So we're gonna jump back over to Hive OS and we are gonna copy that into the address spot. And then right here, you just name it whatever you wanna name it. In this case, let's do Nexa Wallet and I'm gonna put test. That way I can go ahead and delete this later and know that this was the other one. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and click create. Now, it looks like I have another wallet down here, the same, it's the exact same address, but I just wanted to go ahead and show you guys for reference. Now, <clears throat> we're gonna jump in to the flight sheet. So once again, I already have a Nexa flight sheet created because I've already got it mining on my machine. Uh, first thing you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna want to click coin right here and go ahead and set it to Nexa. And then the next thing you're gonna wanna do is select your wallet. Um, in this case, I have two showing here, so any of your Nexo wallets will work. But anyways, we're gonna do the test one. Now, to figure out what pool to mine from, go over and check out mining pool stats. So go to your web browser again over here on the new tab and type in mining pool stats. This site will show you all the mining pool stats and where to mine, uh, what all pools are out there for any coin. So if you don't see your coin listed here on the top ones, go ahead and type that coin over here in the search bar. So in this case, we're searching for Nexa. Click on it. And right here are all the mining pools that you can choose and mine from. We're gonna be mining from cryptex.com. All you need to do is scroll down to Cryptex and then just click the global one. That's the only option you have. And right here on Miner, just choose LOL Miner. Now, if they didn't have this Cryptex here, you would actually have to configure pool and do a bunch of other settings manually. But in this case, like I said, HiveOS makes it nice and easy for you. So you don't actually have to go to the site here and copy stuff and manually put this stuff in and all that. Now, once you have that, you can just go ahead and name your flight sheet whatever you want. So Nexa test. Once again, I want to just put a test so I can make sure to come back in here and delete this create flight sheet now I'm gonna go back over here to workers I know that it's already mining Nexo on my completely identical flight sheet but just so you guys know you just click on that right there go to flight sheets go down to your Nexo flight sheet you just created and hit the launch button there we go worker updated successfully you're now mining Nexo so that's gonna be it guys I want to thank you so much for clicking on my video and I'll see you guys in the next one kryptonite miner out